In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this multi column dot plot. I love using these when I want to look at the distribution of multiple variables across multiple dimensions at the same time. So let's have a quick look at how to build this. It's actually quite simple. My name's Andy Kreebel. I am the founder of Next Level Tableau and the Tableau Visionary Hall of Famer. I've got lots of opportunities for you to learn from me, from my free course, to my do-it-yourself course, to my membership. All those are available on nextleveltableau.com. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Let's go ahead and get into the video. The data set I'm using is from Makeover Monday and it's available in the description. To get started, just drag the data set onto the Tableau canvas. And there we go, we're already set. Let's go ahead and go to our sheet. I'm gonna start by dragging my category and my subcategory to the rows. I'm gonna then drag each of my measures to the columns. So it can usually be cured. It cannot be cured or I don't know enough. Okay, so for each of these, we wanna go ahead and change the mark type to a circle. Now let's go ahead and increase the size. Maybe I'll make it something like that and go ahead and set it to fit entire view so we can make it use up the whole space. So now we wanna create that look with this dotted line in the background. To do that, we're gonna create two calculated fields. Create a new calculated field, I'm gonna call this one zero. And my value is just going to be zero. Create a second calculated field, name it one, and the value is one. Hit OK. Go ahead and drag the zero field to a dual axis on top of the first measure. Drag one on top of that so that you get the two green rulers, which tells you it's a combined axis. On that shelf now, we have measure values. Go ahead and change the mark type from circle to a line. Move measure names from color to path. Click on the path shelf, and I'm gonna make it a dotted line, but you can make it whatever you want. And I'll just decrease the size a bit. Okay, now let's go ahead and duplicate that measure values field to the dual axis on the other two measures. So I'm gonna hold my command key down and drag it above the cannot be cured axis. And do the same thing again for the third field. On each of those fields, go ahead and right click and synchronize. And now we need to repeat the steps that we did before in order to create the lines for the second and third measures. So on our marks card, go down to measure values two, change the mark type to a line. On the path, set it to the dotted lines and reset the size. You then wanna drag the measure names field onto the path shelf. That makes it draw across the view. Go down to your measure values three, change the mark type to a line, set the path to a dotted line, reduce the size, and let's go ahead and drag measure names onto path again. Now notice our dotted lines are in the front. Well, I actually want my headers, my cannot be cured, whatever, to actually be at the top. I'm gonna to go ahead at the top and drag measure values to the left of my sum and do the same thing for the second and third fields. And you'll see all it's doing is swapping the bottom and the top axes. From here, go ahead and click on the first circle and turn the labels on. And I'm gonna go ahead and center align them. Do the same thing for the other two circles. And I know they don't look right yet because they are not formatted as percentages. We'll take care of that in just a second. And do that for the third circle as well. Now go over here to our three fields, highlight all three of them, right click, go to default properties, number format, and let's set it to a percentage to zero decimals. Click on okay. And it looks like on this third circle, I forgot to tick the show mark labels option. There we go. Okay, great. So what you wanna do now is edit each of the axes at the bottom. I'll just do one of them for now. Go ahead and go to the tick marks and set it to none. And then go to the general tab and get rid of the title. And then right click on the axis at the top, choose edit axis, tick marks, and set it to none. Okay, and then you're gonna repeat that with the second and the third headers. From here, I wanna give them a bit of space. You see how they're spaced out a little bit in between each other. So go ahead and right click on the axis and choose edit axis. And I'm gonna go down here to my custom range and I'll set it from minus 0.4 to 1.4. You're gonna to wanna to play around with these settings until you get the look that you want. Okay, so I like something like that. And I'll go ahead and now format the view and I'll get rid of my row dividers and I'll get rid of my column dividers. And I'll go to my lines and turn my grid lines on and back off. 
and turn my zero lines off. And there we go, we're pretty good. Now what I would do is maybe change the shading a bit. So I'm gonna click on the paint cam for my shading. I'm gonna drag my level down one tick and my band size up one tick. And there we go. Now you can again play around with these settings to get the view that you like. I'm gonna right click on the header on the left hand side and rotate it. And from here, it's just a bit of cleanup and you get a nice view like this. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe.